Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a lot of developing news, starting off with a report that suggests that the Galaxy S21 series might be getting rushed and might even launch late this year. A few weeks back, we saw a leak basically by Ross Young mentioning that Samsung could be announcing the Galaxy S21 and Galaxy Note 21 close to each other or at the same event. This also suggested that Samsung would be making some changes in the release schedule of Galaxy Note and Galaxy S and these news are basically confirming that that might be the case for the Galaxy S21 and Note 21 series which are also expected to be the last of the Galaxy S series devices. Samsung is already preparing to enter Galaxy S21 to mass production which would be one and a half months earlier than when Galaxy S20 entered mass production, meaning that the release schedule would be around one and a half months earlier, suggesting a late December 2020 or early January 2021 release. It was also revealed today that the codename for Galaxy S21 is Galileo, basically linking Galaxy S21 series to things like astronomy, which would also make sense considering that there are leaks that the Galaxy S21 and more specifically the Galaxy S21 Ultra will bring some big improvements in terms of zoom quality and zoom range and we are expecting Galaxy S21 Ultra to have a similar layout to Huawei P40 Pro Plus with a dual telephoto camera alongside a main and ultra wide camera and a TOF or laser autofocusing sensor that would help the main camera take better shots. Going to chipset news today, we saw the Antutu score of the Apple A14 Bionic chip and the numbers that the Apple A14 gives are disappointing compared to the numbers that the mid-range focus Exynos 1080 gives. It is 120,000 points less than what the Exynos 1080 brings. Now numbers are not everything and we expect the iPhone 12 series to be very fast but this shows that mid-range phones from next year like the Galaxy A72 5G will be just as fast as the $1100 iPhone 12 Pro Max. And lastly for today we have basically a confirmation that Samsung will indeed be releasing an Exynos chipset with AMD GPUs next year more specifically late next year. This tweet comes from Ice Universe and he says that the Exynos 9830 equals the Exynos 990, Exynos 9840 equals Exynos 2100 and he also mentions that Samsung is developing the Exynos 9855 and Exynos 9925 and he also mentions that the latter may be a processor with AMD GPU so it is basically a confirmation that for 2022 we will have a Samsung device with AMD GPU which will be incredible and considering that right now the Mali G78 GPU is faster than Snapdragon's Adreno GPU is incredible and it is very exciting to see what Samsung is doing with all of their lineup of devices as well as chipsets as we have seen the mid-range Exynos 1080 is faster than the Apple A14 and is equally as fast as Huawei's flagship Kirin 9000. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you in my upcoming videos.